So for someone that wanted to get into offensive security, what would you recommend education-wise? Ooh, that is such a tricky question. So obviously I went the academic route, right? I got an undergrad degree and then I got a master's degree. And I personally enjoyed that experience and it was a good experience for me. But I meet so many people in this industry that have none of that and they're very... Uh, proficient in what they do technically and in their career advancement. Obviously, getting in the door in an entry level role is going to be a little bit more of a challenge if you don't have that academic background. But I would say, uh, not not to be like, watch my YouTube channel, but there's so many good content creators out there that are giving away top you know, world talent level advice and teaching for free. Uh, we were talking earlier, you can go watch, you know, Nahamsek in his videos and, and he's a world-class bug bounty hunter and he you know just for free gives away advice on how how he finds vulnerabilities his methodology and things like that and of course there's also you know training courses by those same people that are very cheap right compared to that formal academic degree so I would say uh, if you are successful in the academic world I still think there's value in that and especially having uh, a core set like computer science, right? If you really understand the fundamentals of how computers work and you're a good programmer, that is going to make you an excellent security researcher or offensive, like like a, in, a, in a pen testing role. But I don't think it's necessary. I think you need to be a self-starter and you need to just go uh, dig into some labs, find some targets and get hacking. And you learn by doing it more so than learning about hacking. 